Hello, this is Alex with Grow How. Last week we did a video on fertilizers that I had in the garage or in the house that I could use for the pandemic garden. And I gave everyone a chance to tell me what you thought I should use. I only got one respondent. They were on Facebook. They didn't follow the rules and they obviously didn't watch the video because, hey, they wanted me to go out and buy new fertilizer, which I don't need to do. So I decided to make that decision on my own. And I'm gonna use the uh, Vigoro, which is made by Pennington Seed, I believe. The reason I chose that is not because it's inherently better, but it's inherently more difficult than some of the others. This is a lawn fertilizer. Now with a lawn fertilizer, there's a few things I do wanna check first. That is, I wanna make sure that there's no pesticides in it. The stuff that you use on lawn quite often has herbicides. I don't want those in with this. They will have insecticides that are not rated for food crops, so I don't want that. You, know, you may have to watch out for other stuff. I can't think of anything else in particular that's going to be an issue, but you check because there may be things. I've looked at this package. I've seen nothing that's not you know, perfectly good for food. So I'm gonna use this. Now the other thing I have to look at is, this is a lawn fertilizer. It is made to go down by the pound for a thousand square feet for a lawn, and lawn takes more nitrogen than just about anything else in the landscape, than actually anything I can think of in the landscape it does. So I worked it out, and uh, I'm gonna need something like half an ounce worth of fertilizer for my pandemic garden. Uh, this is not exact science on this because I just kept on getting smaller and smaller and smaller numbers. And the reality is, I'm not going to use my kitchen scale to measure fertilizer. And I've got a low enough amount of fertilizer, it may not be accurate anyway. So I'm going to have to wing it. But by winging it, I'm going to have to use very little. Now the, the other thing I'm going to do is where I have greens that are already growing. For my basil that's already sprouted, I'm going to put a little bit heavier nitrogen on it, a little bit heavier fertilizer. And really what it comes down to is I'm going to reach in my bag, I'm going to get a very small amount, and I'm going to attempt to spread that evenly over the, the garden area, and I may have to get a little bit more. But again, because of the nitrogen content on this, I'm, I've really got to keep the amount down. If I decided to use the all-purpose fertilizer instead, because it's got so much lower, see this is, 29% nitrogen by weight. This is 6% nitrogen by weight. This is actually easier to put on the garden because I'm putting so little uh, nitrogen down and it's such a small garden space. It's really easy to over apply. This would actually be the safer option. I will use this on my tomatoes because uh, that's the one thing in the garden I do not want to over, over fertilize. So let's go out to the pandemic garden. Now what I've got here, that is probably around about half an ounce by weight. That's a guesstimate. That's gonna be actually a fair amount of fertilizer for this. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna close it up in my hand. And I'm going to apply very carefully. And now I'm gonna take just a little bit more and I'm gonna put it on my basil. So now somebody's gonna ask, they're gonna say this, why are you using so little fertilizer? More fertilizer has gotta be better, you'll get bigger plants. And I might. But what I found through years of experience working in horticulture landscape, my current job as a pesticide and fertilizer applicator, it doesn't work that way. When you over fertilize, you may get lush, great, wonderful growth, but the plant outgrows its ability to build defenses. In fact, the only reason I'm even doing the pandemic garden now with fertilizers, I know that that lawn for many years before I got there was poorly maintained. That stuff's not nutrient rich anymore. It's been too abused. So if this were a normal garden space that I'd already improved, I may not even fertilize every year. Uh, that will not give me optimum crop growth, but it does give me optimum disease resistant and, and even insect resistance. Overdoing it can be very unhealthy. So those are things that you have to think about. We're going to water that fertilizer in. Uh, the watering does a couple things. If I've got some spare stuff on the leaves, it 
will knock some of that off, hopefully. The other thing is it's gonna activate the fertilizer. The fertilizer is a, a granular, it's a solid right now, and it's not gonna start working properly until it gets wet. That's when it can move into the soil. And I'm not even gonna show you that because, hey, if I need to show you how to water something in, then that's probably gonna be a separate video. Catch you later, Manana.